Before I show you how to fix your septic tank problems, I'd like to explain how a septic tank works, how a leach field works, why a septic tank and leach field develop problems, and how to fix your septic tank problems and save thousands of dollars. So, what is a septic system? A septic system is an on-site wastewater treatment system. And a septic system comprises of two main components. A septic tank, which is a buried watertight container, typically made of concrete, fiberglass or plastic. The second is a drain field or leach field as it's sometimes known. The drain field is a system of distribution pipes and gravel. And the drain field allows wastewater to be biologically treated by the surrounding soil. So, how does a septic system work? Well, the septic tank collects all the discharges from household plumbing. The wastewater enters the septic tank and when it's full, the wastewater exits the septic tank and is discharged into the drain field. The wastewater makes its way from the septic tank through a series of pipes. These pipes connect with the drain field pipes. The drain field pipes are perforated and contain hundreds of thousands of holes, which allows the wastewater to naturally discharge into the gravel surrounding the drain field pipes. And then from the gravel, the wastewater naturally uh, discharges into the soil where it's biologically treated. The biggest problem with every septic tank is sludge. Over time, the solids settle on the bottom of the septic tank. If the septic tank's not pumped out every year, then this sludge builds up in the septic tank. And eventually, the sludge will exit the septic tank towards the drain field pipes. The sludge makes its way from the septic tank through the small pipes that are connected to the drain field pipes. This sludge completely clogs up the pipes, restricting the flow of the wastewater. And when the sludge reaches the drain field pipes, it clogs up the entire system, trapping the wastewater so it can't be discharged or treated in the gravel or the soil anymore. So, what is septic system failure? Well, once the drain field pipes become clogged with sludge, the wastewater from the drain field makes its way back down the pipes into the septic tank. And from the septic tank, the wastewater backs up towards your house. And once it does this, the wastewater then backs up into the kitchen, into the yard, into the bathtub or laundry. And this is called septic system failure. So what are some of the symptoms associated with septic system failure? Well, they could be slow or sluggish flushing toilets wet spots in the yard or on the grass over the septic tank. Or many people have experienced toilet backup or overflow or wastewater backing up into the house or bathtub or laundry. At this point, you're normally presented with two options. Option one, you can keep getting your septic system pumped. Well, for me, that's not a viable option. Why not? Well, because to keep getting your septic system pumped means you have to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Option two, 
you can get contractors in to uh, fix your septic system failure problems or fix a drain field. Well, after 14 years in the business now, again, for me, that isn't a viable option. Why not? Because I've got a surpassing way which will show you how to fix your septic system failure problems yourself and save thousands of dollars. For thousands of years, worms have been living underground, eating rotten and decaying waste and converting it into clean organic matter. Step one, once you've received your bucket of worms, simply remove the lid off the septic tank, remove the lid off the bucket of worms, pour the bucket of worms and bedding into your septic tank. The worms will settle on top of the sludge and very quickly they'll start to do their job. They'll start breeding, they'll start multiplying and burrowing into that sludge, making their way into the septic tank and making their way through the pipes towards the drain field. As the worms continue to breed, continue to multiply, they'll make their way through the arteries, through the sludge, deeper and deeper into the drain field. Once the leach field worms have started to saturate the drain field, it's then they start to work their magic. Very quickly, the worms get to work. They start eating the sludge, and clogging those drain field pipes, which then allows that wastewater to start to flow freely. These worms will continue to eat that sludge, breaking it down, clearing it, unclogging it from the drain field pipes, once again allowing that wastewater to flow freely back into the gravel and then naturally back into the soil where it can be discharged and disposed of. So while the worms are at work in your drain field pipes, they're also at work in your septic tank, eating that sludge and completely cleaning it out. Once again, allowing that wastewater to flow freely from your property into the tank, into the drain field, and then straight into the soil. The bottom line is that septic tank worms unclog your septic tank. They unclog your leach field. They fix septic tank problems. They reduce septic tank pumping times. They're natural, they're organic, and they'll save you thousands of dollars on repair costs.